Hey everybody, it's Matthew with the Quarter Acre Homestead and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite fruit trees I have planted here in my yard and that is the Fuyu Persimmon. It is October 23rd or something like that, 2016. There are about 150 or so persimmons on this tree this year. It's crazy, um, just loaded. And there's about 10 supports holding the limbs up. Doesn't look very pretty, but these persimmons are gonna be really tasty. Um, they should be ripe mid-November maybe earlier. Some of them are looking orange already. This is one of my favorite trees to grow. This one has only been here for about four years and I got it just as a little stick in a pot from a nursery four years ago. Um, if you look right in here there's one that's really orange. When it's all orange it'll be ready to eat. It looks really good. This is the Fuyu persimmon. Um, this one was called Early Fuyu when I bought it. I think it's the same maybe as Gyro Persimmon. Um, they're kind of flat, almost like a little tiny pumpkin shape. They're firm when you eat them, have a really good flavor. Um, one of my favorite trees to grow. You can see there's some more up there on top. Um, this tree I haven't hardly had to do anything to it. Um, no bugs bother it. it. Grows like crazy. Has lots of fruit. One thing about it, the fruit. Um, one season will be a really heavy production, like this year. Um, last year we you got like I can't remember. It was either six or thirteen, something like that. Um, I'm guessing next year will probably be a a slower season or not as productive season but still one of my favorite trees I actually planted another one this year a different variety called a chocolate persimmon anyway um, as I talk to people a lot of people don't know what a persimmon is or have never tried one so if you haven't tried one and you want to try one I'll have extra to share this year here's a nice size persimmon you can see how big it is some of the others are smaller but I'm really looking forward to eating a bunch of these this year. Alright, that's it. Hi everybody, this is Matthew again with the Quarter Acre Homestead and it's about a month after I took the video of our persimmon tree so I thought I'd take you out here again um, since I haven't edited that video yet or put it together thought I'd take you out here here again and show you what the persimmons look like now. So here you can see them, they've, they've turned a lot brighter orange. Um, we've actually eaten quite a, quite a few of them. We've picked maybe, uh, I don't even know, maybe like 20, 25 persimmons so far. And there are still a bunch on that tree. You can see them all, there's some up there on top even. So anyways, again, it's the day before Thanksgiving. This is November 23rd. And they're, they're still really nice and firm. You actually have to pick them, take them in the house. And in the warm house, they soften up and get really nice and sweet. So we've been doing that slowly. I've been watching the weather. If there's ever going to be a big frost, I'll probably pick them all and take them in, lay them out to ripen because a, a hard frost can damage them but a light frost won't hurt them at all so anyways just an update for you on the persimmon tree and let me bring you in close to look at some of these so here's some right here it's some nice size persimmons again this is the giant fuyu um, also known as the gyro persimmon 
and we are really enjoying them this year. One other thing I wanted to mention on today's video, if you haven't seen it yet, we are publishing our first ebook. It's called Taste of Allergies. Um, it has lots of recipes that we've developed for our son because um, he has severe food allergies. This ebook's called Taste of Allergies Recipes for Survival When You Can't Eat Anything. And seriously, that's what it is. Um, our boy was down to five basic foods at one time, and so we've had to develop a lot of recipes. We have been able to introduce a lot of new foods for him. He's up to eating about 50 foods now, but still no dairy, no nuts, hardly any grains. So anyway, if that ebook might be beneficial for you or someone you know, please check it out. I'll put a link right here. Um, also, you can check out this video about the book. And again, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions. And I'll see you next time. Bye.